Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is me reading for um, Capricorn. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to stop around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And um, uh, we recently had Venus go into retrograde. Uh, well, it's still in retrograde. It doesn't go direct into the middle of January, like 19th or something like that. And um, we also have... Um, Mercury going into retrograde on the 23rd, which rules uh, the planet of communication. Uh, we also have Uranus in retrograde, which is about breaking roadblocks, passageways, cycles. Um, we also have, well, we also had a new moon in Capricorn. If you're into regular astrology, uh, on January 2nd, if you're into Siberial astrology, it was in Sagittarius. So um, that's really good with being disciplined, being more outgoing, um, just being more fun. Uh, either wanting more success or wanting to be more spontaneous with your success, um, like, you know, starting your own business or something like that. Uh, that new moon was also good for, like, uh, manifesting and planting intentions as well that you were wanting, uh, like, wanting to manifest. But, okay, so Capricorn, you versus them for January 2022. One more shuffle, Capricorn, you versus them for January 2022. Uh, let's do one last one. Okay, so, um, well, that other card was flexible at the bottom of the deck. So you may be having to, like, uh, be flexible, you know, uh, learning how to go with the flow, learning how to um, and just kind of not have control issues. Uh, also with breathe. <coughs> wow. Um, also with breathe at the bottom of the deck. Um. Uh, sorry about that. Um, you guys could be wanting to relax more, just letting go, going with the flow, just being at peace there. You could be cleansing yourself a lot. Time to go, just walking away from certain things, leaving things behind. Oh, also, happy birthday, Capricorns. Oh, to the sea, you could be getting a grip on your emotions here. Um, and you're actually being very blessed here. So you could be just needing to count your blessings at the moment. Um, you could be getting away from games, playing games, or people who are playing games with you. Or maybe you're not wanting to be a player anymore, you know. Um, and you could be returning to your true self or to someone that feels like home. Or someone, again, they're not wanting to play games with you anymore, be a player. Uh, they could be coming to you. Someone could also be um, sobering, sobering up, you know, was on some sort of drug binge, and they're going back to sobriety. Um, on your person side, they have this deep knowing that... You guys are a good match. That you guys are very compatible with that milk and honey. Uh, they may not be expressing it right now. But milk and honey, it's like a very good combination. So, right now they could just be spying on you. Um, truth be told. But I feel like, yeah, again, see, there's some sort of mask where they're not really telling you a leg up. They could be needing your help. Like, you know, it's hard for them to open up. Uh, right now it's kind of, they're just standing still. But it's an unfinished symphony. So, you may not be helping them being that this a leg up fell upside down. It's like you're just working on yourself. You could be taking a lot of baths, showers. Um, also just, also the romance deck here that I'll use. Taking baths, a lot of showers, uh, spending a lot of time in water right now, like swimming maybe. Um, <laughs> I know it's kind of winter, but where I'm at, it's actually kind of hot. Um, but okay, so Capricorn, you versus them for January 2022. The monthly reading, I will uh, get back to the next 48 um, this weekend, okay? Well, I don't know wherever it is where you guys are at, but it's um, kind of, it's Thursday over here going on to Friday. Uh, Capricorn, you versus them, January 2022 for the monthly. Capricorn, one last shuffle, you versus them, January 2022. So there's going to be major changes in your finances. You are going to become more successful. Um, victory and success right there. Uh, it, you could have had to, you know, cut people off. It's kind of like winning at all cost. You know, sacrifice relationships. Just get rid of them. And that could be leaving you as very bored, you know. Um, and things, you could be feeling like things are stagnant in your life. But I kid you not, um, when you're alone, like there's a difference from being lonely and being at peace. When you're alone, you're not really alone. You know, you're just connected to the most high, you know, to your higher self. And I kid you not, when you, um, yeah, you see, I feel like you just had to get over certain things. You just walked away from certain things with that sacrifice card, especially to receive more blessings in your life, rest and rejuvenance. You could, again, be spending a lot of time indoors, meditating, just watching movies, relaxing, 
Um, but I feel like, um, I had forgot what I was going to say. I was on saying something and then I pulled this card out. Um, if, if it's meant to be said, it will come back to me. Uh, but with the sacrifice here again, oh, I was going to say, um, you know, there's a difference from, between being lonely and being at peace. You're like knowing your worth will leave you feeling very alone, but it's also lonely at the top. You know what I mean? Um, and sometimes when you're alone, it's because you're moving to the next level. So, and you can't take everybody with you. It doesn't mean you guys won't come back together, you know? Um, it's just, you guys could be on different frequencies, so it's not meshing well. You know, if, if you're on this frequency and they're on this frequency, it'll be like misunderstandings. You guys just start understanding each other. And so you guys are on the same frequency and then it could be something healthy. Um, whatever it is, this is divinely guided. I feel like this person, uh, they could be kind of very prideful. So they're holding back, you know, not showing you that, you know, you feel like home to them or that they want you back. But I feel like they're grounding themselves here. For love begins, you know, they could be learning how to love themselves more and that could be allowing something. And it could also be um them, um, you know, they just know that after they ground themselves, you guys are going to come back together. So again, right now, just relax. Things are happening for you, not to you. Um, it's going to be victory and success for you. Uh, you know, just right now you could be choosing who to cut off and your patient, you're planning your life right now, new beginnings in your own life. You may also have to make a decision about this person. You know, um, there's major changes uh, financially and materially, and it could be because you're withdrawing. You know, it's kind of like being a monk. Yeah, that you could feel like you're lonely with that suffering and silence, but with that spiritual strength, that's just making you stronger. So again, you could be feeling kind of like a monk right now. So, again, just relax. Whatever it is, it's going to be successful for you. Um, Capricorn, you versus them for January 2022. See, I feel like right now you're very much just on your spiritual path. Capricorn for January 2022. One last shuffle, Capricorn, for January 2022. See, it's looking like Page of Pentacles. Someone's going to reach out to you here. Could be someone that is hurting, uh, someone that you broke up with. They broke up with you. Um, but they're going to be reaching out to you. And, and you might already know this here. It could be um, someone very spiritual, you being very spiritual. It could also be a Pisces. Or your intuition is just telling you. See, it's like you're making these sacrifices to be alone, the Hermit card. Or to just work on yourself. It's like you're making that choice. Like, you know what? I need to work on myself. Take a step back. And you could be, again, very focused on your finances, very focused on um, becoming more in touch with yourself for a sword. There's lots of introspection here uh, with you and the person that you're dealing with. There's going to be no more mind games, no more game playings here. And I feel like this person is spying on you or communicating very little. And again, they can have kind of a lot of pride. So uh, the Justice card, it could also be a Libra here, but they're balancing themselves out. And they could also be knowing that they have to come in and make things right. It could also be a Gemini that you're dealing with here with that lover's card. This is a strong soul connection. I also feel like they're getting more into alignment with themselves. You know, they're balancing their masculine and feminine side. See, don't worry about being alone, guys. Okay, with that Nine of Swords and the Hermit card. Honestly, the devil will use people to get to you. So, with the Chariot, it could be a Cancer that you're focused on or just you're very focused on moving forward in your life. You could be wanting to travel, go on vacation, go on some sort of retreat. Um, you know, you could also be working on whatever is stressing you out, whatever is causing you to worry and cause you anxiety here. But I feel like, you know, whatever it is, you're working on yourself and you're being patient. You could also be keeping an open mind, dealing with the Sagittarius. You see, this person, I feel like they're holding back. You know, I feel like they, you feel like home and it's like they're getting... They're coming re in touch with themselves and they're spying on you. They could be wanting to speak to you from what I'm seeing here. Um, they're changing their mind about a lot of things because they're balancing a lot of stuff out. They could have you blocked or you blocked them. But it's like they could also be learning boundaries. You know, like they're loving themselves more. So that's um, creating better boundaries in their life. See, this could be someone that you cut off, someone that they cut off, or because you kind of are winning at all costs, you cut off everybody around you, um, someone's going to be reaching out. 
So what is that? Justice card, Scorpio, you versus them, January 2022. See, did I say Capricorn? What did I say? So you guys could have been dealing with whatever sign I said. I don't know. <laughs> I think I, I hope I said Capricorn. So Capricorn, um, what is that? Seven of Wands. Three of Swords, Capricorn. I, did I say Scorpio? I mean, I just did the Scorpio reading. That's why. Um, see, this person could be at a distance from you and they're kind of confused. They could also have a lot of options that they're starting to block out um, for this union between you two. Also for self-love. <clears throat> they could be clearing up the confusion in their mind and it could be because uh, they're wanting to move forward that they're blocking off options they're getting their priorities straight uh, what is that three of swords right there capricorn's person what's the three of swords january 2022 see it's like this person is planning to okay this could be a third party situation what's the three of wands three of swords capricorn's person well, no, okay, this person is just, you know, it could it could have started from heartbreak, but it's like their, art, their heart is opening up here. You know, all they could think about is how loving you were, how loving you are, or how much they love you. Uh, what's that justice card? Capricorn's person, justice card. Thank you. See, this person could be dealing with more than one option. One person who just kind of rushes into things, um, and someone who actually is stable takes things slow is mature so you could be moving forward and this could be kind of like a sneak attack like you weren't really expecting things to go this way what's the justice card capricorn see this person wants to message you to make things right and this person could be working on themselves um so that they're not so fake uh with the page of wands upside down it's not just fake but it's like um you know, they could be experiencing a lot of bad news, like with players and stuff like that. And they're moving forward from that, moving on from that. It's like they don't want to deal with that no more. And they could be messaging you after they balance things out in their life. Well, they are. From what I'm seeing here, they are going to message you. May not be saying that they care about you or anything, but what are they wanting to message Capricorn or to tell Capricorn if you guys are dealing with this person? The strength card, you know, it's going to be taking them a lot of courage here. It could be about like uh, a baby daddy, baby mama drama. Um, they could be dealing with the baby daddy also. That could be why it's kind of like uh, more than one person. Uh, they could tend to, it could also be like an Aries or a manager or someone who has their own company business, like someone very business-like. Uh, what is that, Emperor card? Judgment. It's like right now they're making a choice. Can Capricorn trust this person? Well, it's like they have regrets with dealing with someone or something. So is Capricorn's person getting out of a breakup for the like single Capricorns? It's like they have regrets about someone, something, about they're still getting over something, someone that you are with. Ten of Swords. And then uh, this will happen very slowly. What is the Four of Pentacles? Um, page of swords. See, it's like they're not telling you that they want you. They're just spying on you in secrecy. Or just, you know, telling you very little. What's the four of swords in the temperance card? Like, you guys are not talking about the important topics. See, and this person's doing the work on themselves. So this could be kind of difficult right now. But you see, they're wishing for you and they're holding back on telling you this. They're not telling you that they want you. What's the chariot card? You know, you could have been fighting with someone or it's like you're going back and forth in your own head and you just had to move forward from, <clears throat> from the confusion. Um, what's the eight of pentacles? You're probably very much focused on that, like how things weren't happening, how things were stagnant, how there could have been other people with the two of pentacles. Or you could be focused on other people. You could be um, not sure to move towards a twin flame to move towards a long-term relationship or you're just not sure if you could be fighting within a long-term relationship here as well but it's like um you could be very open-minded manifesting just again creating your own abundance here not really playing games with your own stability anymore 
What's the Nine of Swords? We could be worried about success or a family or something long term, generational wealth as well. Um, you, I feel like you have a lot of hope and faith in your healing. What's the medicine wheel and the moon card? Thank you, King of Cups. Someone does love you here. Things are not what they seem. You could be feeling like, like this person doesn't care, but they do. They do care. What's that, King of Cups? Capricorn, this person. Capricorn. It's like they're just taking things day by day, and you might already know this here, or some of you guys could be getting some sort of tarot readings. They are. It's the Hermit card. It's the Hermit card. Thank you. You see, it's like you're isolating yourself because you're wanting to make long-term decisions and invest in your future. That's good, Capricorn, because from what it looks like, this person's wishing for you. Six of Cups, they miss you. They love you. It's equal give and take, um, but they're not telling you that they want you. I feel like this person is telling you very little here, but they are going to smooth things out with you and come into union with you right now. It could also be a third party situation and they're not really happy right now, but it's like um, they're learning lessons and they want to be committed to you. You know, they love you. So it's just they're not saying it. I feel like they have too much pride to tell you. Capricorn versus the MC deception. They're wearing a mask. Capricorn you versus them for January 2022. Could be because of finances. Finances and career. You know, it's like they're working on their finances. Capricorn you versus them for January 2022. One last shot for Capricorn you versus them. Finances and career again. So you could be, again, very much focused on your own finances. There's a lot of pentacles on your side. But pay attention to the red flags here of the fact that this person won't open up. Um, you know, won't have heart to heart conversations, you know, make sure that you guys do have heart to heart conversations because, you know, whatever energy you accept is what you're going to allow. So it's like you could be accepting the bare minimum, accepting them to breadcrumb you, Capricorn versus them. So you could be having to kind of like separate a little bit, Capricorn versus them for January 2022. Let your friends help you. I feel like, yeah, this is, you're not really asking anyone for help. You're just kind of doing this on your own. And you could feel like this person is the one. It's just there's some changes that you could be wanting to happen here. Capricorn, you versus them for January 2022, the monthly. This person could have children. You could be moving forward, um, healing that childhood side of you, aligning that, like whatever you uh, got affected with, with your children. You could be moving with your children. Going on some sort of vacation with your children as well. Traveling. See heart to heart conversations. It, that could be stressing you out. Like you want to open up to this person. But again, I feel like they have too much pride to speak up. There could also be co-parenting. That's kind of an issue here right now. See this person. See it's, it is safe for you guys to love each other here. This could have been a missed opportunity back then. But you see, it's like they need to get over their ex, get over um, your ex, you know, get over their like baby daddy, baby mama. They just need to let that go or let go of if they're not cheating on you. OK, don't run with that. You know, they're not talking to anyone else. Then they just need to let go of how things used to be. You know, that was just a missed opportunity back then. Um, you know, this could be the one they just need to change their mindset. Or this could also be the one, but they just need to let go of their ex. Uh, Capricorn versus them for January 2022. See, it's true love here. It is safe for you guys to love Capricorn versus them for January 2022. Because of children, um, there could be that could be slowing down reconciliation for some of you guys. Capricorn's person, please. Thank you. January 2022. One more card. Oh my gosh, on Capricorn's person's side. See, uh, trust, you guys can trust each other here. I feel like um, you will end up getting married with this person if you choose to be playful with them, have a good time uh, with this person who was playful with you. You will end up getting married with them. Um, you could have been playing with their children. You could be kind of playful like a child. You guys are going to end up getting married, though. So marriage is in your future, Capricorn. Your person just needs to let go of control is issues. Um, there is real romantic feelings here. They have a strong magnetic attraction to you and pull. 
So they are getting pulled to you here. They just need to relax, okay? I feel like they may need your help, all right, in, like, opening up. But all right, guys, I'm going to go to close it out there. If this resonates with you guys, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.